Ukrainian Corruption Center reports that northern border defense funds were diverted to fake companies, letting Russians walk right across the border in their new offensive. Weird. Yeah. Crazy. Huh. I didn't think any of that money was going towards any corrupt people at all. Uh, yeah, of course Ukraine not. doesn't have issues with corruption. This mm -hmm. is yet another time where the government is allocating money to people and then their government allocates. If there's anything less efficient than our government allocating money to people, it's allocating our money to another government who then allocates it to other people. It's like another removal. You know how Milton Friedman has the four ways that you spend money? This is like a synthetic four ways that you spend money that's removed from the original way that you spend money. Here's a, how did we not think of this, though? We should have set up a company in Ukraine. Well, we still could, I'm sure. We probably Let's could right it. now, yeah. Let's do it. All we have to do is probably fill out some form. <laughs> you ever seen that War Dogs movie? I think it's on that. The guys that set up their like defense contracting company that deliver weapons to people, and they're just two dudes who had no clue what they were doing, <laughs> and they get these massive contracts from the <laughs> defense department because they underbid everyone. Yeah. And then they had to try and figure out how they were actually going to get the money. That's or a good the problem weapons. to have. That's a yeah. good problem to have. <laughs> it's a good movie. Uh, people yeah. should check it out. Uh, head of the Metza Anti-Corruption Center, Martinia B. Bolshevitz. Sure. We'll call her B. Has written a report in the Pravda asking, where are the fortifications? She reports that millions of dollars that were intended for the construction of fortifications in Ukraine were instead transferred to Kharkiv OVA to front companies of avatars. Uh, Miss B word said the Ukrainian Kharkiv regional military administration paid out funds to fictitious companies during the construction and fortification of the Kharkiv region. The report comes as Russian forces have broken into the Northern region of Ukraine and the U S continues funding the war. The news on the Ukraine war recently has been that Russia has been making advances in the Kharkiv region and they were just able to roll straight through there. And it turns out we sent them a bunch of money, which to they build a wall to build a wall <laughs> out of wood. By the way, they were going to put some wood out there, uh, make it difficult for people to get through. And um, they just paid it out to companies that didn't exist. And the people ran off with the money. Hmm. So how about that? I love it. We should just give them more. You know, the problem yeah. is we didn't give them enough money. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's what we should. That's I, right. Unless you're a supporter of Vladimir Putin and authoritarianism, in which case you mm -hmm. don't want to give them more money. Okay, just just so you know. Uh, anyhow. The Ukrainian commander in Kharkiv has said that the first line of defense was missing in a massive betrayal. So the commander, who is uh, Denis Yaroslavsky, uh, Yaroslavsky. That's pretty close, yeah. Um, he said the uh, there was no first line of defense. We saw it. The Russians just walked in. They just walked in without any mined fields. So I guess they were going to do mined fields as well. I guess so. I don't know what mines. they're mining in the fields. Some field mines. Know? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. Okay. 